on meeting you here tonight. Sorry about your choir practice. I hope you think it's worth this little addition to the national debt. Or are you paying for this yourself? The question is non cupatory What? non cupatory Oh, Jack Vance, of course! Good old Jack Vance, great master of science fiction. Yes, Bernard, I just love science fiction. But this is government business, and rather urgent. And alas, it is not science fiction, but rather ugly science fact. Urge away, old thing. I await your urging. So very serious business. The PM is in trouble. If we don't fix it, soon the country will be in trouble. People will be embarrassed. Some people will die. Of embarrassment? <laughs> Sorry, go on and pay attention. I seem to have read my text. Well, I tried to read it. <laughs> but you know I find it hard to decipher your text language. I prefer not to have to use my thumbs for communication. <laughs> Writing is supposed to be elegant. Here are the circumstances of my little difficulty. The Prime Minister unfortunately misunderstood Sir Tristram's text briefing him. Uh, Sir Tristram is not good with texting either. You know of the incursion of Gondwana land forces into our sovereign territory of the British Protectorate of South Gondwana? It's all over the news. Mm, well, instead of issuing an oily string of platitudes, as he was told, the Prime Minister has effectively issued an ultimatum to the Gondwana land president. Oh, no, too well, too well, the wise, too 
Unfortunately, there were complicating circumstances. Sir Tristram knew them, but the PM, when he issued his unfortunate ultimatum, did not. Sir Tristram has authorised me to give you level Z clearance for this information. MI5 knows the Gondwanese have refined uranium from their mines. They have made several dirty bombs. One bomb, left in a suitcase and exploded in the city of London, could bring the country to its knees for half a year. The economic effect would be catastrophic. Thousands would suffer radiation poisoning. Some people would definitely die. What can I do? You have to pressure the bastard until he retracts his ultimatum. I write his speeches. I know how he thinks. He can't retract after that. Not with the election next week. He'll lose <coughs> pace and then lose the election. I hate to say it, but even if he were told the consequences, he'd still consider them a lesser evil than losing the election. You must blackmail him. I can't blackmail the Prime Minister. If you don't, then the ruination of the British economy and the deaths of thousands of people will be your responsibility. <laughs> I have nothing to blackmail him with. That, my dear Bernard, will not be a problem. I'm getting the names and phone numbers of my contact. I'll text you the details later tonight. <laughs> Thank you.